I'm Kian, this is Telfo, and we're here at day three of Street Machine Drag Challenge from Heathcote Park Raceway. Mate, the pits are packed, we've had a bit of attrition, not everybody made it through the night to get here, but there are a heap of tough cars here. Mate, here are our top two contenders. So we've got Mark Drewy, he's still out in front, he ran two four second passes yesterday, two of them, first time in history. And then Mark Whitler, he had a bunch of issues, he even caught fire in the return road. He was there, one of the last of the track, and he still ran a four second pass, one of only two cars to do so. So those two are duking out of the top of their classes and overall, so it's hotting up so far. Absolutely, and those guys had a bit of issues last night. The bonnet had to go on top of the roof, mm. on top of the stuff that was already on the roof. So yeah, those Tassie boys are working super hard. Let's check out some racing.
Right, so we're wandering the pits here and we found a bit of an oddity. 60 Series Land Cruiser, and no, it's not a stock boy. And Josh here is the owner and racer of it, 20 years old. Mate, tell us a bit about it. Oh, it's just, just started off as a basic 3F 60 Series. Um, the old 3F got a little bit tired and underpowered, towing anything more than a 6x4 trailer. Um, so it's now got a LS 6 litre in it uh, with a 6L80 um, with a little shot of gas. And how's the week been going so far? You told me you probably would have turbocharged it if you had time, but you didn't. So how's the week been going regardless? Yeah, the week's been pretty good actually, like aircon on. If we had cruise, we would have had that on too. Temperature's been good. I'm um, towing the trailer, fuel's been grouse. Um, yeah, no, it's fucking been no issues. And how's the time's been at the track so far? I just ran a PB of a 12 1 3. Um, that's, yeah, the best so far. We might last day we'll turn her up, I'll give more bottle pressure and um, see if we can stab it some gas in first on takeoff instead of second. How's the reaction been from the crowd and sort of other competitors seeing this thing going through? Yeah, it definitely is an eye opener. Um, it looks big, heavy, it's just a big, you know, a tank. Um, yeah, it's uh, definitely been an eye opener, yeah. All right, well, best of luck for the week, mate. So we're standing here with Mark Whitlar, leading Turbo Smart Outlaw Blown and currently running second overall. Mate, you had a four second pass yesterday, but you had to earn it. Tell us what happened. Yeah, yeah, we sure did. Um, we thought we had everything right and uh, first pass, it uh, did a bit of a wheelie and um, hit a limiter, so then we had to come back. Uh, the next pass, it had a dead injector, so we had to come back. The next pass, it uh, blew the um, uh, wastegate off and we lost that. So luckily enough, Adam Rogash had a spare, so we borrowed that. Um, hopefully I don't have to give it back. <laughs> um, and then uh, we did another pass and it um, caught on fire. They uh, threw a few carrots, it caught the, uh, the rubber on the back of it a light and she was all uh, fire extinguishers and it was hectic as. And then they wanted to give up and I was like, no, 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 clean her up, clean her up, get her back out. And uh, yeah, we went 493 and uh, we left and got into Heathcote 2.30 this morning. Uh, used a guy's horse at 6 o'clock this morning and got here at 8. So, yeah, not a lot of sleep, but uh, one of my, pick, my main pit crew there, uh, Powf, Chris Powferman, is fast asleep. Um, yeah, but everything else, like, as I say, thanks to everyone, but my wife, Lizzie Whitler, and my daughter, Willow Whitler, I <laughs> love you, and, uh, and to everyone else in Tassie, we're doing our best. Cheers. So in case you missed that, this car did a bunch of runs, had mechanical dramas, came back through the return road with the rear end on fire. Mark had to get out, put extinguishers under it, and then after that he went out and ran the four second pass. So these blokes don't give up. What's the plan for today? Well, let's have some luck today and do one pass and get out of here. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, no worries, thank, thank you. you. Cheers. Thank you.
So we're here with Charlie Dixon. Now Charlie's a massive redhead, but he's also an AFL football player. He's the power forward for the Port Adelaide Football Club. But mate, we're not here to talk about disposal efficiency. We're here to talk about race cars. How's your week been so far? Uh, not too bad. Um, we're sort of in the 9.5 class, but had to hand in a 9.7 slip uh, at the bend. And then we, I sort of gave up at Mildura and just handed in like a 7.1 or something. 7.2, I think it was. So that's like 11.1. So um, not really great, but... Um, just did a 9.7 again. The car sort of breaks up at, at the top, but I mean, it's definitely an experience and it definitely is a challenge. We had Lockie do a thermo fan on the side of the road as you pulled up and took some photos of us while yeah, we were sort of under hoods absolutely. and all that sort of stuff. So it's definitely a, a challenge and the fuel and towing a big trailer with a, I'm only on E85. So we've got, um, yeah, a lot of jerrys and, and we're just trying to um, keep it going. But it's going all right, so. So, for the people who don't know, give us a rundown of your car. Obviously, CV8 Monaro, but tell us a bit about it. Uh, it's sort of been together for the last five years, I think. It's a LS1 stroke 383 uh, Power Glide uh, G45, what was it? A GTX 45, it's sort of new. I've got a, the dump pipe's too small, so that's where we get the break up sort of at, at the thousand foot sort of thing. So, it's got a uh, Castlemaine uh, 9 inch in it. Um, just a conversion one that we sort of modified a little bit. It's, uh, yeah, so it made 560 real kilo on gate pressure, but we're sort of breaking up because of that dump pipe. So we thought 540 should be enough, 560 should be enough for uh, 95, but we yet to crack that. So, <laughs> but yeah, it's going all right. So what a lot of people may not know is that while this is your first event driving your own car, mm. Charlie here was actually part of Frank Marchese's efforts to win the whole thing in 2018. We have this glorious photo of you leaning against his yes, Fairmont, just right. defeated at Muldura. <laughs> like so um, was that what gave you the bug to come back and do it in your own car? Yeah, absolutely. So that was 18, I think, yes. when he won it. And um, so, and that was when I was sort of just putting that together maybe, or it was done, but like not at this sort of spec. And I always wanted to do it from then. And um, go, But like this... From what I was doing with Frank to what I'm doing now is still like I'm still doing it easy compared to what they did it. Like I mean, my first night we were up at 5 a.m. because the wheel nuts on the, one of the other cars had like sheared off, so we're going back to Dandy, and oh, it was just a, the whole thing was I thought I'd just come along to film, <laughs> and then I'm changing fuel, checking tappets, and changing oil. I was like, holy hell, is this what you got to do? And yeah. and then the boys won it, so. Oh, Spilney wasn't on it this year as well, so I would have, would have loved to sort of catch up with Frank again. And um, But, yeah, it's been a definitely a massive experience. <laughs> so what about your best time so far from this week? That would have been there, 9.7, 145. Yeah, so um, I'm not sure if I'll go out again. With a bit of weather around, um, we might just sort of pack up and shoot out. So we'll see how we go. Well, best of luck for the rest of the week, mate. Thank you very much, mate. <laughs>
That's awesome. <laughs> Brandon, what do we got here? We have a 1970 Holden LC Tirana with a small block Chev twin turbo Garrett 3582s 
and the two-speed power glide, nine-inch stiff and all that, 325 gears. How fast have you gone in this car? Uh, PB today, I went 776 at 181 mile an hour. Any issues at all on the, on the I mean it's hump day, so yeah, it's, it's the hump of the uh, drag tires. Have there been any issues whatsoever? No, it's been pretty good so far. Touch wood, Touch wood obviously. Um, yeah, we're just trying to, little teething things, trying to get out, because I haven't got much suspension in this thing. Uh, still got springs and shockers, so yeah, I haven't, I haven't got any callovers or anything like that. What's the plan for the car? Are you going to keep sending it? Are you going to send it harder and harder? Um, my ultimate goal is to run a four at an eighth mile track. Hey, it's possible, mate, it's possible. Yeah, so I've gone 5-0, 5-0, 5-0, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go, but other than that, um, yeah, I'm real happy, yep. I'm over the moon, yep. so yeah, that's it. That's awesome, it. mate, well look, I love your shorts by the way. Thank you, I've got blue ones too. <laughs> Beautiful, we'll see you tomorrow at Portland. Portland. All the best. Thank you guys, thank you, see you out there. Drewy, my God, what just happened? Uh, we I think we went fast. How fast did you just go? Uh, 719, nearly 198 mile an hour, 197, 80 something or something. Yeah. Guys, that is a drag challenge history. My God, that is fast. How does that make you feel? Feels good when I'm just the steerer. This bloke here is the one who's doing the tuning on the laptop, so it's team effort, mate. It's so, team effort. So he's the brains. Yeah, he's the brains. And you're the, uh, you're the, you're here. I'm here. <laughs> What's next? You're all done? You're going to hit to the next track? Yeah, mate. Yeah, we're going to the next track. Yep. Go have a pub lunch or something. Yeah. Right, next that track. Is, that is awesome. You're leading. You've just made history in drag challenge. <laughs> this is crazy. Keep up the good work and we'll see you next. Where are we going now? Portland. Portland. Yeah. Are you excited? Oh, I'm not excited for the rain, but yeah, hopefully it stops. <laughs> mate, it's a street car, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I know it is, but the rain. I want to do another pass. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> Guys, we'll see you at the next track. Good work. Congratulations. Well done. See you later. <laughs>
Matt, how you going? Good, good. Feeling very tired and enjoying it. <laughs> what car have we got here behind us? Uh, 78 HZ Kingswood. Uh, full steel, none of these boat parts like fiberglass bonnets or uh, boots. She's all steel, like a real street car. Yeah. What about the motor? What's the running gear? Uh, twin turbo, power glide, 427 dart block, Higgins heads. Uh, Aikman Engineering, nine inch in the rear end with a 325's alloy case. Nice. Oz. How, how fast has the car gone? 783. Wow. Two. It won, it's been faster before mile an hour, it went 182 once, but we're down on mile an hour at the second, but it's coming out of the hole quicker finally with a new PTC converter, ran a 125 in the 60 yesterday, which is massive for a 4,000 pound car. Um, yeah. any, any issues getting here, like oh. it, it's hump day of like drag challenge, so you're halfway there. Yeah, we had a bit of a oil leak uh, yesterday, Arvo in the heat, we were speeding a bit and putting a bit more on the car, trying to get here quicker on the front um, crank seal, but we've now changed it and we should be right, I think. Beautiful, what's the plan now? Are you gonna go for some more fun or are you heading to Portland? No, we've just uh, put another tune in it and hopefully it goes. Hopefully the track takes it. Track looks good, they done good prep earlier, so I'm hoping, hoping for a PB. Beautiful, it is a beautiful car, it looks amazing, goes good, you're not a bad looking bloke yourself. Go team. Go team. Chris, how you going mate? Tell us, what do we got by on us? Uh, this is my 1962 Chevy Nova with a twin turbo LS. Right, how fast has the car gone? Uh, it's PB's 855 at 162, but this week we've been 871 at like 160. Mate, have you had any issues with the car? Yes. <laughs> I, yes, yes I have. <laughs> the car's been super reliable forever until yesterday. Uh, did a first one, did one pass and it was pretty good, and then the second pass, it was just doing something real weird, making a weird noise. We thought it was the converter, but it still cruised all right, so we drove it to Heathcote. It was a, like a chuff and smoke, like a steam train, and then um, realised it was a turbo that we'd uh, decimated. <laughs> right. Yes. So, so you blew, you, you just blew one turbo. So we blew that turbo, and then a bloke in Bendigo had another one. It was that I put in, and then um, after doing a good pass and the timing board's not working, we went out again, and we destroyed that turbo. <laughs> so, so you've done two turbos. History repeats, yes. What are you going to do now? The bloke who gave us the first one's going to give us his second one. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that, that's a drag talent spirit, isn't it? Yes. All right, well, that's, um, that's awesome. We're going to say that is awesome. So you, you'll be back out there shortly with another turbo. Yeah, we've got to limp it to uh, a little bit of town and get some fittings to try and cap it off, like the, the lines and shit, because we don't want to feed it with uh, aluminium and uh, metal into the motor. So we're just trying to manage the situation for now. How are you going to stop it from spinning? Have a look. We've, uh... <laughs> You've got a screwdriver jammed in there. Uh, cable tied a screwdriver into the inlet of the into the compressor wheel to... Uh, you, to remind, you remind me of myself. Good work. Mate, I look forward to seeing this car tomorrow. Uh, well done, good work. We'll be back. Yeah. Take it easy, mate. Yeah, <laughs>
Well, what a massive day. Gus, how would you describe the weather we've had? Uh, up and down. It's uh, sunshine, now it's raining. Might bring us to an end. We're not quite there. We've got an hour's left of racing, but I think the weather might beat us. Maybe, but just before it started sprinkling down, I'll tell you what, there was a few sevens getting laid down. Yeah, we had three sevens in a row. It's been a day of records. Mark Drew has recorded the quickest pass in Drag Challenge history in the Krusty Trana. Shane Baker in that Holden powered Commodore has run his first seven second pass. I think uh, Chris Car Carsberg set new PB. PB score. Shout out to the guys here at the track. How, how, how hard have they been working today, guys? It's unreal. Uh, Lance is right onto it. He's got all his cameras set up here and he uh, spots something going on and he gets it done. Yep, the boys mop it up. The track has been unbelievable. Thanks so much to those guys. That's us from Heathcote on to South Coast Raceway at Portland tomorrow. Thanks so much to our sponsors. Tough Mounts, Turbo Smart, Haltech, Pacemaker, Speed Pro, GJ Drivelines and uh, Pro Street Radials and our very good friends here in Forbes Machinery House. Mm. I'm going to go and have a lie down. Okay, I'll join you in five, all right? Thanks, buddy. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you.